Hey everybody! Omega Alden plays Civilization VI Rise and Fall continues right now with our uh, Tamiris of Scythia playthrough. We are looking for love in all the wrong places right now. We've got upgrades on all our dudes, so we probably I probably should have uh, had those guys take their upgrade. But yeah, we we did the Terracotta Army just now. That's allowing us to, you know, get all of that stuff. Get all these upgrades. These free levels. So, exercise the zone of control. Zone of control. You guys can start moving along here and just upgrade for your health. Uh, I think we want the movement over anything else. That seems um, like the best candidate there. Because we want, I mean, basically we're trying to just, we're trying to get as much advantage over here as we can. Let's give you this flanking bonus. And let's move you along here. And in place here, we can just have you get the movement bonus and heal, hopefully. Choose production. Uh, we can buy this Watt with Faith, so let's do that. Anytime you can buy a Watt with Faith, I think we should just do such a thing. We can also buy this tile to get that upgraded. Which we probably want to do. So, let's see. Purchase a tile. Let's grab that one. I don't want... Well, Carthage could have had it. I was like, I don't want this! That's me, though. That's still me. I don't need to worry about that one. Let's get our workshop on. Okay. Let's get the armory built and then let's start building horsemen here. Getting that wonder was nice. Definitely a, a decent sized boost for us. But we're running out of stuff to chop over there, so we just need to chop and improve things. Uh, as best we can. <laughs> okay, we can defeat this guy. I'm just, I am just moving by my one true love over here. I'm moving past you. I don't I don't want to hurt you. Uh yeah, we're gonna switch to this. We we wanna keep the bonus for oligarchic legacy, but uh we may as well get some more stuff going for us here. Let's get uh, our cav building faster. And... Is it... I think it's commercial adjacencies that get us a bonus, or is it the opposite? Is it campus adjacencies? I'm going to take this regardless, but I'm going to go look at that real quick, because under one of these... Let's see. Oh, I did display it there. Commercial hub and harbors district's gold adjacency bonus provides science as well. So that boosted our science a little bit. I believe. At least that's how I imagined it working. All right, we got to fix some of these tiles. Obviously, the horses, the cattle, whatnot. And the barbarians have been dealt with, so that's good news. We're getting 67 gold per turn, so... I may just upgrade this archer as we're running through once he gets back into territory here. These horsemen get some nice movement now. You do not get to move as far, unfortunately. That's okay. You're still a good boy. We still believe in you. Uh, 
All right, are you Damascus? You are Cairo. We could move you to Damascus if we wanted to. You've got two charges. I think what we're going to do is chop this uh, and then build a mine there as your final actions here. And... Yeah, you're going to get... Uh, <coughs> you're going to build some more horsemen. They'll get a big experience boost as they make it out there, so... That's a... It's a decent thing to acquire over here. And we're gonna send these guys out into this water. Check how things are doing. Yeah, we just need to... We need to figure out where... Somebody else exists that we want to fight. The key is we want to fight them. So I'm thinking we just want to cross the water here with cartography. I don't... It looks like we're not going to find a clear way across, but maybe we will. One... A clear way obviously existed. Because, uh... Goro made it over here. So it had to have existed. Uh... This is owned by us, right? This is owned by Cairo. Okay, so... Replacing that doesn't give a... A bonus for them. But we may as well replace it and get a get the farming bonuses around here. Anyway, there's no nothing wrong with that. We're already in golden age territory again, which means we're at least going to be whoever we're fighting next, even when the era ends, we're at least going to be on even ground. Well, they could be in a heroic age, which is I'm I'm talking even loyalty ground more than to be specific, I guess. Get a plus two bonus down here. Let's do that. Alright, I think I'm just gonna chill over here and wait for, uh... I'm gonna move my guys as far... ...to the, to the left here as we can get. And just wait for the ability to cross the ocean. It's getting a little, a little crazy over here. There's an English... Should I... Wait, maybe maybe there's more to this continent up here. It's possible. There is an English warrior up here. I'm going to send a horseman up here when it spawns because... I don't want to be stupid and send everybody out across the ocean when we have... If we, if we actually had someone else on our continent that I didn't know about. That'd be kind of a, a silly thing to do now, wouldn't it? it? It seems entirely within the realm of possibility, too. That's why I want to just clear it up. Although you'd think that you'd see more troops maybe attacking up here, attacking Antananarivo Revo and stuff like that if it were the case, but that still doesn't ease my mind enough. I want to be 100% sure that I'm not being stupid over here. Because if I am, you know, we got to deal with this. We have to address it. It's concerning and needs to be, uh, needs to be managed. Uh, let's upgrade this to get more luxuries. Oh! Okay. You and England, huh? Well then, well we're gonna take this city over here. I hope you uh, enjoyed having it. It's gonna be mine now. Not sure what you were thinking here, young lady. But we're turning back over here to check it out. All right, I'm gonna send this one up here. Okay, there's a Greek builder that we should snag. I'm just gonna leave this guy out here because 
As long as he's in, in my territory, he can't be getting her uh, culture or anything. He can't be placed. So that's not the worst of all outcomes or anything. This is Damascus, so let's go chop that. Grants the ability to buy land units with faith. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do here. We're getting a decent amount of faith per turn, so that'll actually provide us with some benefit. That's going to take us a while to build, by the way. Can we up our game over here at all? We can get some mines and stuff. Let's purchase... A builder with faith. And let's purchase a trader with faith. To help us out over here. Because we need some assistance in that area, apparently. Alright, we're going to build an encampment here as well. Partially because we're running out of population and it'll give us a little bit more room to grow. So we got another battering ram here, which is nice. Not necessary for the city we're about to walk into. But necessary in the near future. Let's build another heavy chariot. I want, I do want some knights in there uh, mixed in. I know I don't get the bonuses from them, but they're going to be better than the horsemen, obviously. The horsemen have a, a purpose in all of this. No doubt about that, but we do need to be... careful and strategic in getting our most powerful units we can all right so yeah we've got our horseman checking this out up here he will inform us if anything needs to change in that general area we're going to finish cartography, and then I think we're going to pick up uh, stirrups. All right, let's send... I'm going to have you wait. Let's put you guys out in the water close to it. Put your fishing boat on. Someone... Okay. If your Antonin actions inspire you to dream... Cartography. That'll help us out. Stirrups is in three turns. That'll help us out. Now, so after stirrups, you, we gotta rush cavalry. I think. I think that's our next play. Rushing cavalry. Not having any ships to get across the water is, is concerning, I think. We probably should, uh... Should do that. All right, so they're at war with us. Let's steal this from them. I don't necessarily want to take Anton or no, 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 Revo. It'd be nice to have, but whatever. We don't need it. I'll just let it survive for now. For now, we'll let it survive. Uh, Antioch we could almost steal, but we don't have enough, uh, sway over it, unfortunately. Alright. Alright, well this is gonna fall quickly to us here. We'll get it next turn, so let's just move you guys across here. Check things out. We don't want to run into ships out here, obviously. That's, it'd be nice to have a navy or something to accompany us, but, uh, you know, you work with what you have. Which, right now, we have uh, no navy. What we have is a bunch of, a bunch of horsemen. 
That's not a navy at all. We did just capture a builder so he can grab this. Just trying to think things through th here. Having a catapult would not be a, the worst idea. Let's build a catapult just to get it uh, out there with us. We want to improve the tiles around here for the better. Let's give this a lumber mill. Let's go put a mine up here. You know, I'd like to chop these at some point, but for now I'm just going to improve all the things around here. How are they? I don't understand how you're maintaining loyalty over here. Okay, you're not maintaining loyalty. We actually have you over here. We're getting some loyalty pressure on you. That's good to know. So Stirrups is coming up in three turns. We're going to have two... Uh, two heavy chariots at that point that we could upgrade to knights. We have a single source of iron. We're about to have a second source of iron once we capture... Once we capture Ephesus. Ephesus? I think it's Ephesus. Yes. Alright. So this is not the fastest action over here, but we need to figure out where they are. It'd have been nice to have a boat to do this, but, uh... You know. You work with what you got, and what we have is a scout and some horsemen. We found some shallow water over here, so maybe that's a start. Perhaps. There is a border up here. Who's up here? Who dares to be up here? Does someone dare? We're gonna send our dudes up here to investigate this, because it looks like there's another city there for us to snag. If England's just up here, then I'll buy- I'll go buy another battering ram up there. You can't stop me. We'll be up to three battering rams. We'll be, we'll be the most battering of the uh, horse ladies ever. Alright, we need a, another builder for this city. Probably. It'd be also nice to switch to... Let's see. I think we're done chopping over here, so let's go ahead and move Magnus. Did we want to move him to Mareev? I think so. We want to get rid of these jungles. We also want to get rid of this at some point, which we can do afterwards, I think, so. It's all cool. It's all good in the hood. Let's get commercial hub. I probably should research how to have a uh, a harbor next. That would also let me fix the holy site, I think, along the way. So we should look into that. No doubt about it. I send you up here. We're making 60 gold a turn. It's still very expensive to upgrade. Is there a cheap... Uh, yeah, we still have a one-turn thing available to us. So I'm going to wait to do our upgrades until diplomatic service is done. Alright, Ephesius, you are mine. We will buy a builder here to grab this iron. How about that? Let's go ahead and get you some walls. And let's heal our friends up. This is my city. This is my continent. These are my horses and nobody should be messing with me. For I am a strong, independent woman. 
who really loves horses. Alright, this battering ram will be the one we try to take across the ocean with us over here. I'm gonna send the other one up in case there's anything interesting there. Not necessarily anticipating anything interesting, but it could be cool. We're gonna chop this and then put a... F uh, this is a hill, right? Yeah, so let's chop this. And then put a mine there. And go ahead and lumber mill this one up. And so the same goes for the... Hello, France. This, uh, this map is filled with uh, strong, powerful female leaders here. Eh? Because we've killed most of the male ones. I mean, Harald is basically neutered over here. He can't be doing too well. Hey, he's actually getting loyalty on us now. I need to grow this city more, or this city. We need to grow both of them just to put loyalty pressure on him. I'm tired of him thinking that he's decent over here. Because he's not decent. He's the worst. The only reason he still exists is because we were too lazy to make him not exist. Okay, so Anton and Nariva. We do have a English city of some sort. And it's Megan Colossus, so is... Is this English uh, territory, actually, like... Besides just, like, a city or two, is it... Are they on our continent and I never realized it? Because I always just assumed they weren't. But that could be a very bad assumption. A very bad and wrong... Slash Budong assumption. It seemed like it was the case before, but... Oh, wait, we need you to heal up. We need you to heal up. And let's send you up here. Yeah, we're gonna go up here. Do they have walls up here, I wonder? If they don't have walls, we're good, but otherwise we have to wait for this battering ram to get there, which could take ages. Start sending him along the way. I mean, either that or we just buy a battering ram, but I want to upgrade all our guys, if possible. How much does a battering ram cost? A battering ram costs 260, it's gonna cost like 95, 90, and 90, I think. Or maybe 95, 95, 90. So that's uh, 270-ish. Yeah, we'll just buy it. We're just gonna buy a battering ram. I don't know if we actually need it, right? But we have enough to upgrade our troops regardless. So we have found France. France is in a golden age, so we don't want to fight them. Well, we may have English people to fight up here, so we don't even necessarily need to travel across the seas. What we do need to do is take care of our ship situation we need to get a couple more ship tech well we need cavalry more than that but we we probably at least want a decent sea unit to accompany cavalry once we start having to go across the water we don't want our guys getting blasted away because we don't we can't defend them from a simple enemy navy you know that's basically the gist of what i'm saying right here you have to be cautious it's required but England we don't have to cross for you at least not not for all all of your cities maybe maybe there's maybe this is just one city maybe you pulled a no this is not happening uh maybe you pulled a a Greece over here 
and you just settled the single city over here. That's possible. Defend Ephesus. Why? Why are you so happy about or mad about Ephesus? I mean, we'll defend it. If the members fail, target gains plus two combat strength when attacking a member unit with a city strike. And we get 1,200 gold. Okay. Few inventions have been so... That's not a big deal. The 1,200 gold would be nice. All right, so I think we should get square rigging and then look at moving on down the line. Wait, no. We wanted to grab... We wanted to grab Celestial Navigation. I think we want to grab Square Rigging. And then I think we want to do... Military Science after that. That's not... I, I held Shift. At least I thought I did. So I messed this up. Let's do this again. Celestial Navigation. Square Rigging. Military Science. There we go. We've, we've accomplished queuing them all up appropriately. Way to go us! We've done it. We're legends. All right, we're going to just assume that we want to attack on the land over here. So let's get you guys you guys back to land. We don't want to fight. Oh, we got Gre Grecian Quadra Reams. Grecian? We have Greek Quadra Reams. Camp here. Okay, you can kill him and get your health back. That would get us 25 faith. The era ends soon, so we should make use of our bonus some more probably here. Let's purchase some more of these uh, builders. Let's move you along here. Is there... Can we buy anything with faith here? A builder. We, we can't purchase that with faith. I don't know. We'll get the pyramids in three turns as well. So any builders that happen to exist after that will gain a bonus charge, which is nice. I didn't know it worked like that until probably like a month ago. All right, we're going to bring you onto land over here. We need you to start crossing through. Crossing. Th oh, we need you in our territory here. I'm going to need you to step over here so I can upgrade you next turn. Because we're, we're only going to get one turn to upgrade here. And it's got to be used to get this archer upgraded and get those two heavy chariots upgraded. Because we want to switch back uh, away from professional army immediately. Okay. So we definitely need this battering ram to make it up here. But this is good news. I thought that I thought we had conquered our continent, but apparently not. We at least have something here to deal with. I don't know why they would just settle one thing over here, but it's entirely possible they did that. It's also possible that there there's a whole English empire up here, which is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that it's an entire population of guys for us or cities for us to cap cap up here. I'm just kind of confused as to why I wouldn't have known that they were there. Not super confused, but a little confused about that. All right, we're going to kill this trade route. Yeah, this is uh this is looking like an empire. This is looking like the bottom of an empire down here. It may be an empire of two cities. I might be just uh jumping the gun, but it's a start. It's a start right over here. Okay. Okay. Let's get this a mine. 
We're going to have our Grand Master's Chapel soon, which means we'll be able to start dumping faith into purchasing troops, which is nice. No, we're not doing that. Sorry, Harald. Actually, I'm not sorry. But I'll tell you I'm sorry, just because uh, it might make you feel a little better about what's going on. So this is where we need... A turn of professional army. And that's the only change we need there. So confirm that one. We need to now... Upgrade you. Upgrade you. And get... Get you in here for an upgrade. And then we will switch you back. All right. Let's go ahead and pillage this for some health. I kind of just want to take a peek around here to see what's going on. Yeah, this is not this is an actual like uh, empire up here. I thought I thought that. I thought we had cleared our continent. I thought that I had claimed it all as my own, but apparently not. Apparently I jumped the gun here. I thought I thought I had to branch out to other uh, other continents, but I didn't even take care of all the business at home, you know? I was a foolish fool. Okay, so horsemen are 36, knights... We should just be making knights right now. Until we can get cavalry. I know you get two horsemen for every. But the knights are just going to be like significantly stronger for us. So I think I think you got to switch. And we are going to leave one of our horsemen down here. To look after this city. Because it is the target of an emergency. So we want to make sure that all of that's, you know, cool. This scout's going to keep looking around over here. Get you back to land. Get you back to land. Get you over here. Leave my horse alone, please. Leave me and my horses alone. I would appreciate it if you just ignored them. Let them go on land and, and live out their happy days. The happiest of days for my friends here. We're about to lose our movement speed bonus as well for these workers, but that's, you know, that's, it is what it is. And that's all that it is. All right, so you've almost made it over here. We're building a builder. Let's also just go ahead and uh, and purchase one. Let's purchase another one over here. All right, these guys are gonna get a bunch of bonus or a bonus charge from pyramids soon. He has denounced us for some reason. I don't know why he would ever think that's a cool thing to do. And all I ask. Is that's okay though. Oh, uh, let's see here. I think this is about a good time to cut off. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. So, science per turn. Victoria's at 62 with 25 techs. We're at 99 with 24 techs. This is going to go down a little bit once our heroic age ends. But we're better than her. And we're going to be taking her cities in a second. So, we're going to be way better than her. And way better than everybody else. God, she's... Goryo is just slamming that culture. And I mean, it makes sense. That's the whole Greek. That's the whole point of being Greek. Religion, no one cares. I mean, maybe somebody cares. I don't care. Scores here. We're on top. Victoria's in the middle. Science. We've still got two unmet players. Gorgo is now nearly 10% there, but we, we need to just... We, we do need to up our culture game just to give her 
a moving target for tourists. We don't want her getting that. I mean, we could always go find her territory and wreck her too. Maybe, maybe she exists on this continent and I was just stupid. I thought this continent ended up here, but I, I jumped the gun and didn't check it early enough. So, you know, what, is, what does my opinion matter in all of this? It, it was wrong. So she could be up here. We could walk through e uh, England and then just find Gorgo here. That's entirely possible. All right, everybody. That's it for this one. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And I will catch you guys next time as we begin the assault on England, which I think is going to go well. Anyway, peace.